Hi, boys and girls. It's raining today in my car, but I thought I'd bring you somewhere to do something different. It's the library, that's right. Let's go run inside. I have to get my umbrella. I'm back in the library again today to read Three Billy Goats Gruff. This was the other book that I had picked out the other day in one of my other videos when I was reading The Frog Prince. Do you remember that one? You can go through my videos and see it again if you'd like to. Or see it again for the first time if you've never seen it before. So I'm going to take a little journey through this book. Come on along. So before I start to read my book, I wanted to show you how cute this is. It's Cubby's Corner, where you can grab a seat and sit down comfortably. And also, this is the children's section of, of my library. Do you remember in one of my videos where I talked about at your library, I think it was my Lego video, that you can visit your library and you can sit with reading buddies? This is one of them. These are the doggies that will come to the library and you can sit with them while the librarian reads a book. What do you think? That's Freedom, Erin, and Kevin. It's fun to visit a library and see all the different books that they have on display. I see an empty display. That means somebody gobbled up that book. All right. See any books that you like? Hmm. Let's see. Look at this display. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't worry. He's not real. Silly alien. <laughs> Here's some listening audio tapes when you listen. It's called an audio tape. Here's another section, children's music CDs. You can come and get music to play in your CD player or in the car. Here are some DVDs that you can borrow for free. All this for free, children. Because in the public library, you don't have to buy the books like you might have to at BAM. You can browse the books in BAM, but if you like them, you have to purchase them with money. But in the public library, you can borrow them for free and return them at the proper due date. There's even a place to make copies if you need a copy of something. This is a place to look up books if you want to find a specific book. And look at all these computers. So if you don't have a computer at home, you can use a computer at the library. Hi friends, I'm home now. And remember in BAM, the bookstore or the library, said so there's different versions of a book. So I came home and I realized I have a different version here I didn't realize I had. So I think I'm going to read that one of The Three Billy Goats Grub. Okay, let's begin. Once upon a time, three billy goats lived together in a meadow on a mountaintop. The three billy goats were brothers and their last name was Gruff. All spring and all summer, the three billy goats ate grass together. They ate so much grass that they ate all the grass in their meadow. The three billy goats were hungry. They needed to find a new meadow. There was a meadow on a nearby mountain. This meadow was thick with sweet green grass. A rushing river lay between the three billy goats and the meadow. The three billy goats would have to cross an old, creaky bridge to reach the green grass. Little Billy Goat Gruff agreed to cross first. He took one step on the bridge. He took two steps and then three steps. His steps went trip trap, trip trap on the creaky bridge. He shook the bridge just a little bit as he crossed. Suddenly, a voice roared out. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Two big, ugly hands reached up from under the bridge. Little Billy Goat Gruff trembled. It is I, Little Billy Goat Gruff. 
he said in his smallest voice. A big, ugly troll jumped up on the bridge. I'm going to eat you! Roared the troll. <gasps> no! Don't eat me! Squeaked the little billy goat gruff. I'm too little to eat! My brother is coming soon, and he's much bigger than I! The troll paused, and he scratched his head. He looked at little billy goat gruff. You're too small for a snack, he said. You may cross the bridge. And little Billy Goat Gruff ran to the meadow as fast as he could. A little while later, it was middle Billy Goat Gruff's turn to cross the bridge. He took one step on the bridge. He took two steps and then three steps. His steps went trip trap, trip trap on the creaky bridge. He shook the bridge a lot as he crossed. Suddenly, a voice roared out. Who's that trip-trapping over my bridge? Two big, ugly hands reached up from under the bridge. Middle Billy Goat Gruff stopped in his tracks. It is I, Middle Billy Goat Gruff, he said. The big, ugly troll jumped up on the bridge. I'm going to eat you, roared the troll. No, don't eat me, said middle Billy Goat Gruff. I'm too little to eat. My brother is coming soon, and he's much bigger than I. The troll paused and scratched his head. He looked at middle Billy Goat Gruff. You're too small for lunch. He said, You may cross the bridge. And middle Billy Goat Gruff ran to the mad meadow as fast as he could. Finally, it was big Billy Goat Gruff's turn to cross the bridge. He took one step on the bridge. He took two steps and then three steps. His steps went trip trap, trip trap on the creaky bridge. His steps shook the bridge so much that he almost shook it down. Suddenly, a voice roared out. Who's that trip-trapping over my bridge? Two big, ugly hands reached up from under the bridge. Billy Goat Gruff kept walking. It is I. Big Billy Goat Gruff, he said. The big, ugly troll jumped up on the bridge. I'm going to eat you, roared the troll. No, you're not, said Big Billy Goat Gruff. He lowered his head and ran at the troll. He caught the troll on his horns and threw the troll right off the side of the bridge. The troll tumbled into the water and was never seen again. Big Billy Goat Gruff crossed the bridge and found his brothers in the meadow. And the three Billy Goats ate the sweet green grass together for the rest of the year. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. Time to close out. I'll catch you learners next time. How about we can nibble like they did at the end of the story. They nibbled, nibbled, nibbled. Okay. In a learning zone. Bye friends.